How are you doing, Tanya? Well, I feel a little swollen around the belly, but otherwise I'm fine. I see. Well, it's not long now until you pop. I'm glad you're healthy. I was worried because you were feeling rough quite often with the second child. I guess so. I never had problems like that when I was pregnant with Julie. I suppose it varies from child to child. Lately, Julie has been saying she really wants to spend more time with her daddy. I wish you didn't have to work so much. I know. I'm sorry. I wish I could spend more time with her too. It seems like she's really excited to be a big sister though. She's always looking at the baby's ultrasound. She's always saying that she can't wait for the baby to be born. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm glad she's looking forward to it. They often say that when a baby is born, the elder children can revert to being babies. So I was a little worried. I'm sure she'll be fine. I can't believe she's already 10 years old now. Time flies. You're right. Oh yeah, what happened to the business trip? Is it still happening? Yeah, unfortunately. I'm really sorry. Mabel says I should go since I'm the project manager. Nothing you can do about it, I guess. If this project goes well, you might get that promotion, right? You've been working so hard towards this, Bruce. They're expecting big things of you at work. You have to prove them right. Thank you, Tanya. So, I mentioned this before. I'm a little worried about leaving you on your own this late into your pregnancy. I just wanted to make sure you were still planning to stay with your parents while I'm gone. Yep. I asked my parents, and if anything, they were thrilled. They said they'll be more than happy to have their granddaughter around for a month. Dad even says he can take Julie to school. So it's okay? Yeah, no problem. They said they've been bored since retiring. <laughs> I still feel bad. You're having to go stay with your parents at this important stage because of my career. I wish I could help you more. I wish you could just stay at home and get your mom to help out, like when you were pregnant with Julie. It's not as if your parents live very far away. It's fine. If I'm with my parents, they can help out with anything. I'm a little worried about my health this time, too. Okay. We'll be apart for a while, but we'll get through this together. I love you, Tanya. Hey, Julie. The baby was kicking a lot today. She's getting strong. She'll be born soon. Really? I'm excited! Did Daddy tell you we're staying with Grandma and Grandpa? Huh? Yes. Daddy is busy with work, right? That's right. We have to say bye to Daddy for a while. Is that okay? Yes! Daddy said he would play with me lots when we go home. It's okay. <laughs> I see. Grandpa will pick you up tomorrow. Okay, Mommy! Morning, Bruce. We'll get home by 3 p.m. Julie's really excited to see Daddy after so long. <laughs> Make sure you spend lots of time with her when we get home. <laughs> I can't unlock the front door. Is it broken? Can you open the door? Aren't you at home? I changed the locks, so don't come in. Just go away. Huh? What are you talking about? Have you got some surprise planned for us? <laughs> Look, I'm telling you to go away. Hey, what is this? Did something happen? Just let us in. It's raining and the kids are going to get wet. Not happening. This isn't you or the kids home anymore. So just scram. Comprende. I don't get it. What is happening? I've gone to a neighbor's house for now to get out of the rain. You need to explain everything. Explain. Maybe you have some idea why I'm doing this. What are you trying to say? You just kicked your own children out of your house. Are you crazy? My children? Liar. 
Just tell me honestly. They're not actually my kids, are they? What? I got a feeling that something was off when the eldest was born. Julie doesn't look like me at all. The baby looks even less like me. That's how I know. Now wait a second. Are you accusing me of cheating on you? What proof do you have? The fact that you're getting so defensive is suspicious. You love Julie so much. That's because I thought she was my own daughter. I can't believe this. I'm calling my parents. I'll also let your parents know about this. Why are you trying to get one step ahead of me? You're just going to give them your biased story, right? I'll do the explaining. You should just take care of your spawn. Spawn? Just don't come back home today. Got it. We can't go home? But Daddy, you promised to play with me. You said you would play with me after we got home. Julie? Did you argue with Mommy? You have to make up. Mr. Barnes told me at school. He said you have to say sorry after a fight. Julie, look. Your Mommy is the bad one here. Mommy lied to Daddy. Lied? I'm not really your daddy, Julie. So never call me daddy again, you little brat. Hey! What are you saying to your own child? Julie's really upset and she's crying. Have you lost your mind during the last month? I haven't lost my mind. I'm calm. If anything, I've gone back to being my real self. What do you mean? You were such a loving husband and father, but was that all a lie? Do you remember our wedding vows? For better or for worse. You said those words too. Ugh, you're so annoying. Shut up. Don't text me anymore. Wait, how can I accept any of this? Bruce? All that garbage about the kids not being yours. I get it now. I know everything. I understand the reason you completely changed character. Huh? There's no mystery to solve here. Your unfaithfulness is reason enough. I told you we were let inside by a neighbor for shelter from the rain. It was Leona, the mom I know from Julie's school. Opposite our house and one to the right. So... While we were at my parents, Leona said she happened to see something when she was driving home. She saw you letting a woman into our house. I wondered what you were going to start saying. But don't you start accusing me just because I caught you. Or maybe. You women want to work together to incriminate me. Then push all the blame onto the man. That's why housewives are so annoying. They don't know how to do anything except spread stupid rumors. I have proof. What? Leona's dash cam. I checked it just in case. I could see it clear as day. I saw the woman's face and I was surprised. Your ex-girlfriend, right? I think her name was Amelia. It was my co-worker. It's not Amelia. You're mistaking her for someone else. I knew Amelia in high school and college, so I know her face well. She still had her distinctive beauty mark on her face. There was no mistaking it. I can ask my college friends and find out Amelia's contact details. I'll send her the dashcam footage. I'll ask her to confirm that it is her. I could get a private investigator if I need to. Fine, I get it. Amelia did come to the house. Are you happy? No, I'm not happy. You need to explain. You said all that stuff about the kids. But it wouldn't have been that hard to prove they were yours. A paternity test would have done it. I don't know why you started spouting such nonsense. You need to tell me why you did all this. Oh, shove off. You're so bossy. Are you my mother? I guess childbirth turns women into boring mothers. They lose all their attractiveness, lol. Amelia, on the other hand, is so lovely. There's no comparison. 
So, you tricked me to be with Amelia. Then you tried to pin the blame on me and divorce me. You are an awful person. Julie's so young, but you said those hurtful things to her. You really are scum. Shut up. You don't understand me at all. Not a single thing. So don't you judge me. Then explain. You're just repeating the same garbage. Come on. Talk. I've been patient this whole time. Huh? Patient? I don't even like kids. But it's better for your career if you have the image of a family man. In this day and age, you don't know where information might leak. So, I had to play the perfect father and husband at work and at home. It was all for my career. It was agony for me to live a lie to do that. But as soon as you guys went off to your parents' place, I enjoyed my newfound freedom. When I got home, suddenly it didn't feel so cramped anymore. I could just spontaneously go out for drinks in the night or meet up with friends whenever. It was the most freedom I had since I was single. Is that when you met with Amelia again? Yeah. She was just the same as when I met her. It was like traveling back to my bachelor days. Everything was peachy. I had so much fun all the time. But when you guys came home, that fun time was going to be over. I couldn't go back to living in a cage like before. So I kicked you out so I didn't have to go back to that cage. I see now. So you got drunk on your temporary freedom. You've got your head in the clouds. I can see that it's still all the way up there. Because you're still not behaving rationally. I'm glad that you get it now. We should get divorced. Then I'll be free of you and I can live the life I want. Why don't you just go ahead and do that? I don't want to live with you anymore either. But make sure you pay child support. I'll also be suing for emotional damages. Not a problem at all. No skin off my nose. <laughs> well, we're both in agreement. We've mutually decided to divorce. There'll be no trouble down the line. Let's not dig up our past and hold it against each other. We don't need to fight needlessly. You just want to settle out of court, right? You'd be worse off doing things properly, wouldn't you? You're pathetic. Whatever. Hey, Tanya. How are you? Who is this? It's me. Bruce. Don't play dumb. You know who I am. Oh yes, long time no see. I almost forgot about you. I did want to forget about you completely. I thought it was about time that you'd get in touch. You were waiting for me to contact you? How sweet. Don't try to twist this in a way that makes you look good. I just thought you'd wake up soon. I thought you'd come crying to me like a pathetic loser. Did you enjoy your freedom? How's Amelia doing? You don't need to ask. You know, don't you? Of course. I hear Amelia left you. Why? Why don't you tell me the reason? Well... You started suing Amelia for emotional damages, so we got into an argument. I see. But couldn't you see that coming? I did tell you I'd be suing for emotional damages. You agreed that it was alright, didn't you? But I didn't think you meant you were going to sue Amelia. I didn't think that far. Isn't it obvious that I would do that to my cheating husband and his affair partner? Oh, but it did seem like you were drunk that day. Your head was in the clouds, so it looks like you didn't think it through. It's as you say. Something was wrong with me. Please, let me fix this. I'm back to my normal self. No, because you already destroyed the bonds that held this family together. And we've already divorced. Now we're strangers. Please, I'm at my wit's end. I hate going home to an empty house. I get home tired after work. There's no dinner ready and the house is a mess. There's no family to welcome me home. I'm going crazy from the loneliness. 
Oh, okay. I mean it. I'm really struggling mentally. Maybe that's why work isn't going so well. I'm being treated coldly by my co-workers. Oh yeah, that. I don't think it's your mental state. I just think your co-workers don't like you. That whole thing about you being a scumbag who would literally lock out his family from their home. All your co-workers know. Huh? Why? Did you tell everyone at my company? What do you think you're doing? It was a mutually agreed upon divorce. I haven't done anything. Remember Leona, who helped to shelter from the rain that day? It seems like she spread rumors everywhere about the whole thing. What? Leona knows someone at your company. I guess that person must have told everyone else who works there. You can't stop a rumor once it starts. That perfect image of yourself that you built is now ruined. I don't think they can fire you for infidelity, but you've certainly lost everyone's trust. Oh, by the way, wasn't there talk of a promotion a while back? No way. Tanya! Please! Take me back. If you don't, my life is finished. But if you guys stay by my side, I'm sure we can rebuild everything. Just give me a chance. I want to see the kids. I want to talk to you, Tanya. No. Why? I'm begging you. Why won't you listen to me? Don't you care what happens to me? Have some mercy. Quit whining. You're being so childish. You little brat. Hey, Mommy? Did you speak to Daddy? Yeah. What did Daddy say? He says he wants to see you and the baby. Hey, Julie? Do you want to see Daddy? I wanted to before. But not anymore? I heard you and Grandpa talking about Daddy. Daddy did a really bad thing, didn't he? You're right. He did a terrible thing. He made you so upset, Julie. He really upset Mommy, too. Yes, I know. I saw you crying at night, Mommy. Mr. Barnes told me. After you fight, you should say sorry and make up. But when someone does something really bad, saying sorry isn't enough. Daddy did something really bad, right? So I don't think I should see Daddy until he's really sorry. Are you sure? Yes. I want Daddy to say sorry and he should mean it. I see. That's very mature, Julie. I think you're the most grown up in our family. When Bruce's parents heard how he treated us, they were furious with him, of course. They disowned him, and he didn't receive a shred of support from them after that. At his company, it seemed the rumors really affected his career. Shortly after, Bruce was demoted and stationed at some faraway office in the countryside. His promotion was no more, and he got a pay cut. But he won't be able to quit because he needs to keep making his child support payments. He needs to continue redeeming himself until Julie forgives him one day. As for me, I'm helping at my father's company and working towards qualifications for elderly care. I'm working hard to ensure I can earn a good salary in the future. My youngest is still small, so she's a handful. I'm just glad Julie is old enough to be like a second mother to her. She's been great with taking care of her. Us three girls plan to keep on supporting each other as a family.